Good morning students and welcome to today's session of the Sunday School. Every month we will be learning about a sacrament and this month we will be learning about the sacrament of confirmation. So we will be having two action songs in today's session. This is related to the mission we receive through the sacrament of confirmation. So the class will begin with one action song. Then we will have a video to explain the sacrament and the different elements. With the sacrament of confirmation we receive the Holy Spirit in a greater measure. And we receive gifts and fruits through this Holy Spirit. So we will get to learn a little more about the gifts and fruits. We will end the class with another action song related to the mission. Go and make disciples. So for your homework, you all could do either of the action songs and send a video to us. Or you all could draw the gifts or fruits of the Holy Spirit. Draw a tree with the fruit, uh, with the total number of fruits. Or just draw a number of boxes, how many gifts are there of the Holy Spirit. And the total number of fruits of the Holy Spirit. Either of them, whatever is easy and uh, manageable for you all. And send us a picture of these video, uh, this uh, drawing. Alright. Hope you enjoy this class and wish you a blessed Sunday. Bye. God, you created me and loved me. Things I cannot count Grace and mercy To overcome my doubt You called me to fullness of life You opened my heart to the mystery Of water and of the Holy Spirit I was born again Cleansing my soul
morning students today we will be learning about the third sacrament of initiation every catholic receives this is confirmation while receiving the sacrament of confirmation we renew the vows taken by our parents and godparents on our behalf at baptism and express our consent to be a part of the church's mission we shall learn about this through a story from the bible in the book of acts of the apostle after jesus went back to heaven his friends and helpers were praying together in a big room suddenly something amazing happened at first it sounded as if a huge wind were blowing next flames of fire flickered over every person's head then god's spirit came and everyone began to speak in different languages this was the gift from god that jesus had promised his followers the apostles received the holy spirit in the form of divided tongues of fire which rested on each of them before this happened the disciples were afraid because jesus was crucified some time ago so they locked themselves indoors in fear but after receiving the holy spirit they were changed completely they became bold for jesus and were ready for their mission that is to go to all people everywhere and make them disciples by baptizing them in the name of the father son and holy spirit we shall learn the steps involved in this sacrament and then learn its importance the sacrament of confirmation is administered at mass the three main procedures are the renewal of the baptismal vows and the profession of faith the bishop extending his hand and invoking the outpouring of the holy spirit he then anoints and lays hands saying be sealed with the gift of the holy spirit that signifies a spiritual seal like every sacrament confirmation also has form matter minister and effects the form is the words that are used to administer the sacrament be sealed with the gift of the holy spirit matter are the objects used as physical signs of receiving the sacrament that is the oil of chrism and laying of hands the minister is the bishop sometimes a priest is delegated to administer the sacrament additionally knowledge and consent of recipient is a must the effects are increase in the holy spirit full initiation into the catholic church a body becomes the temple of the holy spirit the duration of the validity of this sacrament is forever an indelible mark is placed on us which cannot be erased with this sacrament we also receive gifts and fruits of the holy spirit in different measures the gifts are wisdom understanding right judgment courage knowledge piety and reverence when we put these gifts to use our life bears fruit the fruits are love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control these gifts and fruits help us to live as better christians 
we are empowered by the holy spirit to become better persons and fulfill the mission of the church to spread the good news of jesus wherever we go some things to keep in mind holiness is a gift of god that needs to be consciously developed by us our bodies become temple of the holy spirit treat it with respect keep it holy be in constant prayer to holy spirit for strength and guidance remember your dates of baptism and confirmation like your birthday and renew your vows and the promises you make at confirmation let us close this teaching with a prayer first we shall sign ourselves in the name of the father son and holy spirit thank you abba father for the gift of the holy spirit at confirmation help us to become better christians with the grace of the holy spirit so that we can share the message of your love by being happy around everyone we meet Amen